A Wisconsin man had to have his limbs amputated due to an infection. The bacteria he contracted is something that many people experience daily, being licked by a dog. Team 12's Brandon Hamilton verifies how this happens. Who knew that a loving gesture from man's best friend could cause a horrific infection? Greg Manifel started feeling sick June 27th, and soon after, he went into septic shock. The cause? Capnophagia conomorphous. It is uh, a bacteria that the dog has in its saliva, and it's transmitted to the humans by usually a bite or from the saliva of the animal. For Greg, within days of being admitted to the hospital, both of his feet were amputated and then both legs up to the kneecaps, in addition to parts of his hands and half of both forearms. This bacteria goes into your system, and when it goes into your system, it replicates. Most likely what happens when you lose your limbs, etc., it's usually because the bacteria might cut off some blood supply to certain areas. Now that you are looking at your dog differently, don't worry, we can verify that the chances of you getting this infection are slim to none. This infection is extremely, extremely rare in the United States. There's perhaps maybe one case, you know, per year that we know about. So can you get this from a dog simply licking your skin without having an open wound? Zero chance of that happening. If the dog licks you and you don't have an open wound, you will not get this infection. Who is at risk? The people who usually succumb to this infection usually have some underlying issue. It's not your garden variety healthy person who gets bitten by a dog or gets you know, dog licks their wounds, that's going to get this. Even if the dog has the bacteria, most people can fight it. It is important, though, to pay attention to how you are feeling just in case. If you get bitten by a dog and you're doing well, two, three days later, you start to develop a headache, fever, you know, pretty sick, like the worst flu you've ever had, you should seek medical care. For Greg, it's still a long road to recovery, and there is a GoFundMe page set up with a $100,000 goal. Brandon Hamilton, 12 News.